Hello, Manuel. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you tonight? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm ready for the action. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay, let's start. How was your day? Uh, um, a little relaxing because uh, I visited just two clients in all, all wait, day. Wait, 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 wait. I only visited two clients. I only visited. I only visited. Two visited, clients. visited, visited, visited two, two clients, clients, okay, clients. Open. clients, okay, so that was a good day, yes, uh, I, today, I take advantage, uh, took, I, took I advantage, took, I took advantage, uh, because I, I have to many things in my house. Mm -hmm. Too many things to do. I, I have many things to do in my house. Yes. Uh -huh. Home chores. Sorry, bitch. Home chores. Home chores. Ah, home chores. Yeah, teacher. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> it's home okay. Chores. It's okay. Home chores. Home chores. Really? Is it, 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 the best way to? Good evening. Say, Hi. Good evening. Maybe? Where? So where the where those home chores related. or errands? It's errands? related. To errands or home chores. To work in house. Okay. So, uh, like repairing something, or what? Or cleaning the house? Uh, no, I, I ask you if a home home oh, chores uh -huh. is is related to to say yes. I I I I home chores. Really... Home chores have names like mopping the floor, sweeping the floor, mopping the floor. And I'm sorry, it's two words. My bad. It's two words. Home chores. Okay. It's towards it. So yeah, you sweep the floor, then you mop the floor, you wipe the uh furniture, the furniture. What uh, else? You it, wash not wash exactly. the not exactly bathrooms. this. Not, not exactly not exactly this. that. That not exactly <laughs> that. Uh, it most refers to to buy oh uh, so buy in, uh, the also in the supermarket yeah the supermarket in the market <laughs> yes uh -huh. so you did some errands errands some home errands home, home errands errand. ah, okay okay huh. let me write sometimes sometimes i believe you do work errands <laughs> work errands yeah what about you jorge do you do work errands uh, what is the meaning of errands? When your boss tells you, "Hey, can you go to the library and buy a paper rim? A paper rim? We need a paper rim. The photocopying machine is not working because there's no paper. So, can you go to the library? That's a work errand. If your wife tells you, "Hey, can you go to the supermarket? That's a home errand." Definitely not. No, you don't do work errands. Okay. No. I don't uh, that kind of work. I don't do I don't do that kind of work. Okay. As a manager, I used to I used to buy things, you know, for for the academy, and and that's because you reach. You need to provide. No, no, no. It's just that when you love what you do. You take it like if it is your business. You yeah. become so committed that, and my grandma, my grandma she taught me this. She she told me, you know what? Whenever you want to feel fine in your job, think, you know, set your mind, set your mind, and think that 
it is your job. I mean, the, the work is yours. It's your place. It's, it's yours. The business is yours. So take care of it. Take care of it. I used to clean the, the projectors. We had the projectors on the roof. So I used to clean them, you know, there, there's a, there are some filters. I, I went on the internet and find out how to clean the land, how to clean the, the filters. I bought, I bought from my money, uh, some cloth, some cloth to clean the lenses, for example. And man, they, they noticed, they noticed that as a teacher, I used to do these things. I used to, I used to use uh, color markers, not just the black, blue, and red. No, I bought some wonderful color markers, you know, and I, I used to carry a box. As a matter of fact, uh, actually, I do this kind of homework in San Salvador because I'm working, I'm building something in my, in one place there in San Salvador, mm -hmm. so uh, in the weekend, I'm going to go to ferret, ferretery. To the hardware, hardware store. Hardware store uh -huh. to, buy, to buy materials and, hmm. and, and carry to, the, to that place to help the others to, to avoid they stop the... To avoid them from no, no, no. To keep them from stopping, to keep them from stopping at the hardware store. Hey, that's a good phrase. That's a good expression. I do this to keep to keep them to keep them from stopping to st from stopping to keep them from stopping somewhere. Let's say. I do this to keep them from stopping, to avoid them to stop in uh, that place, you know, and wasting time, to save them time. I do this. That is because that is because it's it's mine. So I need they they don't stop in there. I need them. I need them not to. No, or don't no. No, uh, there we have. It. We haven't seen that topic. I think you haven't seen it. Let's let's review this. Um, I do this. What what did we say? Hold on. Oh my God! I lost it. Repeat. <laughs> uh, um, I do this to uh -huh. to keep <laughs> them. Oh, no 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 no! You said okay. I need them, not. Not to waste time. For example, I need them not to waste time. When you need yeah. someone else not to do this. Let's see. I want them not to go with the roses. I want them not to go with the roses. No, no las quiero para que vayan con las rosas. So talking about a flower arrangement. Um, so uh, work er errands is uh, work out of your house or out, your place of, or out of out of your scope of support out of your scope no. of support if um, okay if we, you want to use spot did you understand that out of your scope of support? The alcance. Yeah. Another way of saying this is out of your boundaries. Mm -hmm. Out of your boundaries. So when when something comes out of your tasks, you know, with your specific job, that's out it's of your you can it's optional, let's say it's additional work that you can do for your job. It's like it's like picking up garbage from from your from the floor. If you go to the reception of your office, you know, and there's a piece of garbage, don't you pick it up? You know, or do you call someone in the cleaning guy, right? Hey, come pick this up. 
Mm, I mean, no. It's, it's up to when you are paying a lot. Mm, I, I, what I will do or what I used to do is do the thing first, you know, clean the place and then tell the person, hey, you know what, the entrance, the uh, lobby is a little bit fel filthy and dirty, you know, you should clean that up whenever you have the time, okay? Thank you. That's it. Even as a boss, I don't know, I didn't like to be very demanding, I don't know. I used to like to be kind, kind with with coworkers because I never, I never saw them as employees, but as coworkers. That's something very important, I think. I used yeah. to, I used to motivate them, telling them, you know what, some of you are better than me. I'm the manager, yes, but you are better than me. I, I bet you some of you have great ideas, but you need to put them in practice, you know, so we can all. You know, so you can shine. And one day I'm not going to be here. And that happened. I left the office and someone else took my place. And I knew, I knew who was going to, to precede me, you know, <laughs> who was going to be the next manager. And that was true. So, yeah, that's the way. Okay. We're going to do a dynamic uh, in a few seconds. And now that we are nine, let me do the, uh, the attendance first. So we can uh, get more vocabulary in a different way. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Present. Welcome. Cristian Natalie Erazo Rogel. Present. Excellent. Diana Elizabeth Chereguiño Martinez. Not yet. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. Present teacher. Welcome, thank you. Please turn on your camera, guys. This is very important. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present. Thank you, Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present. Thank you. Marilena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Mario Jose Valle Castaneda. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Thank you. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Silvia, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Excellent. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleto Ochoa. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Mm, let me see if I remember this. How to use venues. Let's talk about venues. What what do you understand by venues? Type, please. Venues. Yeah, right now. Venues. Venues. Yeah, venues. What venues do you know? No, this is very useful when you travel elsewhere, you know, to another country. Is one of the first things you need to know. And you're always asking for directions on how to get to these places, where you can get what, you know. So for example, a pharmacy. Is, is related to revenue. <laughs> no, good job. That was, that was my next point. Venues are found on avenues. It's like on the, the address? On the street? <laughs> no. Well, it's maybe. No, 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 no. For example, there is where. This name, yeah, this name comes from. Places, teacher. Exactly. It's just a synonym for places. It's a synonym for places. Avenue. So let's see what venues do you know? What places do you know? Common places. That you find in every country. Correct me. Huh? No, common places where you can buy things. Okay. Supermarket. Exactly. There you go. Uh huh. Library. 
a library. Shopping. Like shopping center. <laughs> mm, maybe a mall. Mall. Aha, uh -huh, the mall. Very good. What else? Store. A store? What kind of store? Candy store. A candy store? <laughs> well, it's more general and is a very common place. Mm -hmm. Let me help Liqu you. Liquor store. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a that's another one. That's right, liquor store, and it is a liquor store, grocery store. Grocery. Okay. It's like and, a post. A post office. That's the important. It's like a OXO in Mexico. Oh, the OXO. <laughs> I think it's two, <laughs> two X's, right? Like that? Yes. I, I, yeah, OXOs are like the 7 Elevens in, in, it in the United is. States. Yeah. Did you ever, hey, did you go to any 7 Eleven, Jorge? Yes. They're everywhere, right? Yes. Uh, did, did you try the Slurpee? There are, there are, uh, Hot dog? <laughs> there are hot dogs, slurpees. Did you try the slurpees? Cafeteria? Uh, Movie. Repeat. Did you try the slurpee? Movie. A slurpee? No. No? Do you know what it is? No, I don't know. It, it's like minuta. Mm. Oh. But more delicious. Okay. Yeah, the slurpees are, are in machines. And there is actually a Slurpee Day. There's Slurpee. a Slurpee Day where you can you can take your own uh, deposit. I'm not gonna say glass or or I don't know um, a mug. You can take your own mug. No, it's a bucket. A bucket. You can take a bucket. You know what? Once someone took a, a huge bucket to fill because it's a it's the you buy one Slurpee and you can fill any recipient, any a gallon if you want, you know, <laughs> and it's the same price on the Slurpee day. It's crazy. I mean, and there are a lot of flavors, any flavor you can imagine. There are hamburger XXXL. Yeah. <laughs> on this on this 7 Elevens, that's true. Okay, Wait. let's let's continue. I'm sorry, Wendy, did, what did you say? Uh, mm, I don't remember. Cafeteria? No. Cafeteria? Mm, yeah. Oh, no. What, what is it? Wait. Cafeteria? A coffee shop? Coffee shop? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Mario? Uh huh. What else? Cinema. A cinema. Uh, uh, you are talking about, about any kind of store? Any kind of venue, right? Common venues. What are the common venues? Sorry. A hair salon? And for men? Uh, barbershop. <laughs> okay. How do you say taller, taller in English? Mario? Garage. A garage. Mm. Place. PlayStation. Mm. <laughs> PlayStation? No, repair. A gas <laughs> I don't know. A gas station. Yeah, but that's not a, a taller. Come on. Travel agency for what? Oh, travel agency. Uh huh. Car station. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> workshop? Workshop. There you go. There's a workshop. Okay. There's a car shop, a workshop. 
that's the common name. Okay, why are we looking at venues? I want you to discuss really quick here in the classroom. You can make the question to another classmate. How do you go? Imagine that picture that you are in another country. Okay, so how would you go about finding things in different venues? What's the question you will make to a native speaker? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, sir. Could you please? Uh, mm -hmm. Explain it how to. <laughs> mm. You don't want to find the place. You're asking where? Uh, excuse me, could you please tell me where is the drugstore? That's a way, yeah, drugstore. where? Drugstore. Where's oh, the drugstore, drugstore, okay. Closer to me? Oh, then you say, where's the nearest? The nearest. Sorry, hold on. Where is the nearest? And then you say the venue. Another way. Excuse me. Okay. Um, where could I get some? Okay. What? Excuse me, Wendy. Excuse me, Wendy. Excuse me. Where could I get some coffee? Wendy, excuse me, where could I get some coffee? Um, let's see, Maria Jose, where could I get some coffee? I know. Go straight. I'm <laughs> no, yeah, but you have the venues. In the coffee shop. At the coffee shop, that's all. That's right. The question I said in answer. I'm giving you different What's options. So these are options that you have. You can make your own. I like this one. Beg your pardon, would you happen to know where can I get a haircut? Beg pardon. Your Beg your pardon. Do it faster. Beg your pardon. Beg your pardon. Disculpe. Perdone. You can also say pardon. Pardon? Would you happen to know where can I get X? Where can I get X? Sorry, may I? Exactly, sorry. Uh -huh. Continue, Jorge. Uh, just trying to add something. <laughs> sorry, may I get the nearest, nearest barber shop? Mm, that's difficult. May I get the direction of the nearest? The address? Not the address because that's it's like more specific. It's like when you ask for nomenclatura here. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you, you you need to go to the sexta decima. No, no. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that, that's complicated. Okay. So let's practice really quick. Together here, I just want everybody to make a question to a classmate. For example, uh, Manuel, excuse me, um, could you please tell me where is the nearest um, gas station? Yes, uh, go straight and then uh, turn, turn left. Turn left, okay. At the next corner. 
and the next corner, exactly, or in two blocks, in three blocks. Now, what I wanted to point out is like more like where you can find something because I was watching a video on YouTube and in some places in Canada, you cannot find a grocery store to buy eggs. You need to buy things at a supermarket and sometimes the supermarket is really far. There's a family in Calgary, in Calgary, Alberta, uh, traveling for one hour to buy their groceries. I mean, it's long distances, right? It's it's insane. It's insane distances. Good job. Okay, so let's let's forget the first one. Okay, let's let's scratch it off. Let me scratch off this one. Okay, let's use the others. Try to find something where you can get something. Continue. Um, let. Oh no! Don't tell me. Okay, there you go. Uh huh. Someone else? Christian, try it. Oh, I'm thinking. Um, nom, 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 nom. Para esto, imagínense que han llegado a ese país y ustedes no saben dónde están las cosas. O sea, dónde están los lugares donde puedes comprar, porque es lo más humano, ¿no? So, where? Yeah. What? Uh, excuse me, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, could you please tell me where can I find um, a cinema? Exactly. Where can I find a cinema? Oh, sure. It's on the mall. On the mall. And the mall is downtown. The mall is downtown. That's the nearest. In well, front of the hospital. <laughs> uh, yes, exactly. Exactly, the mall is in front of the hospital in downtown. That's the only cinema in our in our place in our city. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, continue, Mario. Uh, could you tell me where is the uh, nearest? Shoes shop? Shoe shop? Yeah. Oh, that sure. Is, 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 is the current name of the zapateria, right? Yeah. Shoe store. Shoe store. Where is the nearest shoe store? That's right. Okay. Continue. Who's next, Mario? Uh, let's see. Carlos? Okay. Uh, excuse me, do you know if there is a library in the city? To who? Yes. Oh, I uh, thought that. Yeah, good, Mario, go. Okay. Yes, the, the library is uh, next to the mall. <laughs> Okay. What the cinema is? <laughs> oh, in front of the hospital. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's in the hospital, yeah. You can walk uh, together with uh, Christian. <laughs> okay. Okay, continue. Continue with the with the sentence of Carlos. Or Carlos not. sentences. Yeah, just continue. Make the questions. All of you are lost in a new city, and they only speak English. You are learning English, so you're trying to find all these objects. Ex excuse me. Where where can I get a scissor? Exactly. Sure Somebody else? Can, uh, sure, you can uh, find a scissor in the library store and it's uh, next to the mall. <laughs> Thank you, Christian. Nice okay. advice. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Continue. Come on, guys. Uh, excuse me. Where could I I get the the bus? Bus station. Bus. Bus. Yes. Yeah. Where can I get what? the bus? Yes. <laughs> The bus station? <laughs> in the bus, in the bus station? The bus stop, okay. The bus yeah, stop. the bus stop, the bus station. Now, bus stop, bus station. Don't forget, join the yeses. Good job, continue, continue. It, it's up to you the, uh, where you can want to go. Where you want to go. It's up to where you want to go, exactly. Yes, because if Can you I want go? to to Soyapango, <laughs> you have to walk two blocks uh, to the right and then at the corner turn to the left. But if you want to go to I don't know to another place, you have to uh, uh, walk in in the boulevard straight for three blocks. And then turn to the left. I know there is that. <laughs> oh my God. That's very, way. <laughs> very specific. It's very specific. <laughs> if you want to go to the park, you. you need to take you. the train, in the, the, the line, the blue line train. There is color in the. In the train, how do you say uh, the red train? Yeah. Because uh, the maps of the train is is with color. And so if you want to go to uh, the next city, you have to take the, the red one or the blue one. Or Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way you say it. Now, that's the context you're standing at the train station or the bus station. And you can even tell the number, right? Hey, you got to take uh, train 88, mm -hmm. train 88, or you got to take the train on station five. Or Go to also, station five. Uh, instead, uh, uh, the gate, because I guess- Exactly. The, the, the gate. Go, go to gate five, go to gate 57, go to gate, yeah. Exactly. Okay, continue. Where can I get? Where can I buy? Where can I find? What about coffee? Did you say coffee? No. Okay, so that's the point, guys. Come on, guys. You got to practice. Wendy, I want to hear you, Wendy. Where can I get a good coffee in this city? In this city. Exactly. Where can I get a good coffee in this city? That's a great question. Broomer, broom, broom. Coffee shop. Where is coffee shop? <laughs> uh, coffee shop is next to next to the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Which restaurant? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> China restaurant. <laughs> the restaurant needs to mall. Which mall? <laughs> Okay, now let's go to to San Salvador. Let's go to San Salvador. Excuse me. Um, where can I find? Um, where can I take my dog? Where's the nearest vet? Uh, I'm at Metro Centro. Where's the nearest vet? 
you are at Metro Centro, okay. If you you are walking, mm -hmm. you can go straight for on for black uh on the Los Eros is, is that is that on yeah, Los Eros Boulevard? On the Los Eros Boulevard. And then you can turn to the right on the <laughs> Buenos Aires is the name of the uh, neighborhood. <laughs> on Buenos Aires Street, on Buenos Aires neighborhood. Okay. Yeah. And the bed is in the corner. Uh, in the corner, yes, it is is the corner. Okay. <laughs> That's Simple. the name I mean, that I know. Just follow my advice. When I was learning and I used to find some gringo, and actually I found someone from Holland. I don't know how to say that. It's a Hollandese, I guess. Someone from Holland looking for directions near to Salvador del Mundo because I have I always worked there, you know. So there was a this guy with with an overall in shorts, an overall shorts, you know, green. It was green. So it was like the native custom of, of Holland, right? He was wearing a, a funny hat. And he was very tall and old. He was old and tall with his backpack, you know. He wanted to know how to get to the cathedral. He was pretty far away from the cathedral. So I found my way to tell him to take route, <laughs> take the route. And I didn't know, take route 42, 42. Come on, man, no, don't, don't worry. You can just call for an Uber. <clears throat> No, this was back in 2004, no, 2005 or six. I can't remember. Oh. Uh, there was no Uber, yeah. But I remember <laughs> that the guy the guy got upset because he wanted to speak Spanish. And I started talking to him in English, so he was like, <laughs> it was a funny situation. Okay, so where, uh, yeah. Peter, one day uh, somebody asked me about a place uh where uh, he was really far away and i i told him oh you are it, it is uh, really far and he only saw me and because i guess the way he, the guy was from from europe and he told me i'm far away from my country so i guess i will need to to the place uh, i guess he was telling me that it doesn't matter uh, how much is the the kilometers or 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 uh, how how long is the or or was the the how far the place how, how far it's, it's was right. the place he indeed he was really. Limano. Paris than than he commenced the the his trip so he was near to his uh the place that he was finding he was trying to find okay in reality he was farther than he thought in reality I like that in reality he was further are there than he thought yeah in reality he was farther than he thought from the place of course yeah comparatives and superlatives i believe you already started that topic right we shall start tomorrow's class with comparatives and superlatives that's very useful but you know what? Remind me, Manuel, please, because comparatives and superlatives are not just bigger than the five rules to modify the adjectives. No, is that not? There's some, there are other ways to compare things. For example, I'm as old as you. I prefer this one. Two. Than this one. Uh huh. Preferred this one to this one or that one. 
that's preferring two things. But when you compare equity, 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 and this is a topic actually that you will see on advanced five. If I'm not mistaken, you will see this in advanced five. But it's good for you to know, be aware that there are other ways of comparing things. When you want to compare two things that are equal, you know, and this is another way, as, as. Um, faster than the other one. But then you're there you're using the common rules. ER, then. Faster, mm -hmm. then. Greater, then. More. Spectacular, more, more special than. Uh, no, I'm talking about equity comparisons. Um, I'll, I'll I'll review the topic and I'll prepare something for tomorrow so we can talk about that. Okay, tonight tonight we have to compare two generations, the generation X and the generation Y. But I don't want to make this a boring class, so we're just gonna follow some topics that we have left behind on your book. And we're going to work on this together as group. So awesome. We are 11. Let's go to your book. Uh, we were missing this um, this job, this task on page, what is it? Page 26. Advantages, advantages uh, millennials bring on the workplace, important characteristics to consider to lead them. We have studied this so far. We saw some tips to manage millennials at the workplace and some stereotypes. So we already started uh, these four topics. So in groups, all you have to do is say something, you know, contribute in the group. For example, if I ask someone here, Give me an advantage of bringing millennials to the workplace. Just one. <laughs> they are faster with the computers or with the Okay. Technology. Let's call it better computer skills. Or adaptative. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they adapt better. Okay. Better computer skills. Um, better technology skills. Better technology skills, that's true. Okay. Better technology technology skills. Yeah, let's leave it like that. Important characteristics to consider to lead them. What characteristics you should consider to lead them, Chris? Yeah, to lead a, a millennial. For lead them. To lead them. Let's say you're, them. yeah, remember, we talked about how to lead millennials. If you're a manager, how can you lead a millennial? You must consider their characteristics, right? Um, <sighs> uh, important characteristics to consider to lead them. Um, maybe... <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> they get, they get, they get. They get Lazy. bored. They get bored. They get Lazy. bored. They get bored easily. For example, hmm. easily, easily. I think that's misspelled. No, that's okay. So they get bored easily. You know, really quick. So why do you have to consider? Why do you have to consider that characteristic, Chrisia? If you're uh, the manager. Have a, a good environment. An entertained environment. Yes. Even, even the colors of the office. Imagine that, picture that. I mean, you have to think about the colors of the office because if everything is all white, you know, oh my God. Right, it's so boring. Uh, this place is so bad. Is I don't know, sad. <laughs> yeah, sad. Exactly. Okay. Tips to manage them, considering their characteristics. What would be tips that you will give to um, managers to lead millennials? Um. 
Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Let them free. Let them free? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, um, maybe I want to say to not to to take under control. Oh, don't push them. Push don't, push don't be pushy. Don't be pushy. Don't be pushy. Just let them do their job. That, that could be a good advice. And a stereotype of millennials? This is easy. Lifestyle. Lifestyle? Okay. And you, you shall say why, right? Why lifestyle is a stereotype for my for millennials. Is it because of the health? I mean, they like to be fit and all that. Yeah, that could be. Yeah. So, so I I need at least at least three categories on each square. You know, three advantages, three tips, three important characteristics, and three stereotypes. We're gonna do this in in teams, and um, I'm gonna send you right now the um, this chart. This is on page, I said it twenty six on your workbook, okay? Got it? Yes. Got it. Yeah, got it. Uh, sure, come on, guys. Hey, by the way, don't forget the platform. Today is our class number 22. We're just missing three classes and that's it. We'll go to yeah. the next level. This Friday is the last Friday, is the last class. No, Monday. Oh, Monday. Why? Yeah. Ah, we, we lose one class, right? Yeah, teacher. Bad teacher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bad teacher. That's no, right. just kidding. <laughs> it's up to you. No, to really, me. really. I, I, I feel terrible when I miss a class. I feel terrible because I don't like that. As I told you, I was a manager. I didn't let my employees or co-workers to miss one class. You know, if they were really sick, okay, take the day off. And that's it, you know, but uh, I'm very exigent with me. I mean, with myself, I'm very, try to be very disciplined, not to miss the class. Um, eso me recuerda a Ratatouille. ¿Por qué vas con tanta prisa? Yo soy el chef. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Diego, Jorge. Okay, this is a good group. Okay, so let's do it. Please contribute on your group. Let's go. Okay, okay. Um, Silvia, Susana, Marilena, please join your groups. Por favor, únanse a su grupo. Me equivoqué al darle, teacher. Me ah, puedo okay. Volver a... Le van a llegar dos notificaciones a la segunda, me le, le, la acepta, okay? Okay, gracias. Just one second. Hoy sí. Go. Hola, Elena. Meaning at the workplace. The first one is advantages they bring at the workplace. Advantage. I don't I remember uh, millennial error. Life 
live and work uh, uh, um, how do you say equilibrio <laughs> Balance. Balance. Ah, ah, okay. Thank you, teacher. Balance in in their life and in their work. Balance. They have. They they have. They have balance. We. With life and work. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think one of the advantages uh, they bring at the workplace. Advantages? Um, what? Advantages. One of the advantages. One of the advantages? Yes, it could be that they. Yes. Um, uh, a good schedule, a, I don't know, a, a flexible schedule or uh, flexible, yes, flexible schedule. Okay, I think yes. okay. okay. Uh, and you, Marilyn. What? I am not facing the article. I can't hear you. Hello. Okay. Is in the article yesterday or in the book? No, on the website you can see the the picture. In this moment, in this moment, no. No. Come on, guys, let's focus, focus on the activity. Um, la imagen que estamos viendo está en su WhatsApp y está en la página 26 de su libro también. Okay. With social media, uh, could be an, an, an advantage. Yes, for example, Advan advantage. 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 Is a affordable healthcare. What? What's Affor that? Sorry. Uh, affordable, affordable health care. Uh, or the other is a uh, they like collaborate with with teams. They like to collaborate. To collaborate. Okay, yes. They like to collaborate. In teens, they are good with technology and they are good um, making publicity in her own uh, social media. I don't know. It could be a advantage. 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 Mm. I guess you already said that our 
uh, good on technology, right? How, how uh, I remember that you use one expression like a tech, tech, tech savvy, or I don't know if you, I have heard you tech use savvy. It. Tech savvy. Mm -hmm. A very techie person. They are very techie. That's the same meaning, right? For example, I think they bring new perspectives. 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 I guess that maybe some of the advantages, 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 and the characteristics to consider to leave them, I guess, are kind of maybe not the same, but the advantages is also can be the 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 characteristic to consider to live them uh, also in in other advantage of them is they another advantage another advantage they they can uh, work at home. They have no problem working at home. Working from home. Working from home. Mm, yes, from home. This is a advantage. Characteristics. But also, yeah, but also maybe not the characteristic, but it is a stereotype that they they are uh, kind of a uh, lazy what do you think do you, you think that they indeed are lazy lazy people Because I, I consider that maybe not lazy, but I guess the let them take the maybe, the maybe, tools. Maybe can can let let them to to sh to show that they want to show. the their skills their skills because they like to be uh, to be to be to be what to be to 
let them to show their skills. They, they are happy when all the all the peer uh, how do you say Felicita? No. Uh, recognize recognize oh. mm -hmm. uh, well, we are in tips to manage them teacher so I was telling to Sylvia that telling uh, Sylvia uh -huh. telling Sylvia uh, one of them could be uh, if well, let them they let them to to show their skills. Let them show their skills. Mm -hmm. Their skill because they they are happy when the the peer uh, approve they they know their knowledge. If they make some, if they do. If they do some pretty well, they are good at something. Yeah, if they're good at something and they're prized. They want to get the, the approve, the approve. The their... approval or they want to approval. be praised, remember? Praised or be recognized by the employer. By the boss and the the partners or here or in whatever that excellent um another one that we can uh, say would be if you let them to to get the their own schedule they they were happy if you if you let that permission, let them that permission. If you give them, give them. If you authorize that permission, if you allow this to happen, yeah. Okay. Different ways of saying things, yes. But you got the idea, good job. So you are on tips to manage them, right? Yes. Okay. Now, the stereotypes. Okay. Boring. No. Boring. Lazy. Boring. 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 And. Um, ay, no sé cómo, cómo decirlo, pero que, que se cambian, como que si se cambiaran de trabajo, no sé. Job hoppers. Oh. Job hoppers. Job hoppers. Oh, ok. Job hoppers. Job hoppers. Lazy, boring, and job job hopper. Okay. Three. Three things. Uh, three things. Oh, category uh, teacher. Three things. Three things. Where are you right now? What part are you on? on tips In the stereotype. Them. Tips to manage uh, them. Tips, okay. Tips. Uh, tips. Manage to manage them. Okay. Mm, for the boss. The what? the boss needing tips for the millennials. Hmm? Need a goal, make 
make home office and no sé cómo se dice, pero falta una. Tip. Tip to manage. The, I remember article um, the, the boss the boss need need give opportunities for um, opportunity uh, yes, the boss need uh, give opportunities for development and learning okay. Give, provide, provide or give. What? Provide or give. Como que lo tienen que dar. ¿va? No sé cómo se dice. Pero ah, give. Que... Ah, puede ser no. como, ah, give, give opportunity. Give opportunity. For development. Um, offer, and offer opportunities. Well, maybe, uh, no. offer opportunities. For development and learning new knowledge. Offer opportunity. Other that the millennials tip is a balance. The personal life and jobs. The team need a goal, make a movie, and give opportunity. Two, three, three tips. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And important char characteristics. I don't see, I don't, no me queda claro. High level, multitask, and resiliencia. Dijimos que vamos a buscar en inglés, en resiliencia. Resiliency. Resiliency? Yep. Ah. Okay. Or silence, I'm sorry. Let me see. It's saying. It's saying. Resilience. 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 Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Resilience. Resilience. No. Advantage. We say they have balance with life and work. They flexible schedule. Flexible schedule. Schedule. And they are good with new technology. They are good. Teacher is correct. Say they are good with new technology. Yep, they're good with new technologies. Yes. Is it okay? okay. Is it okay to say? Okay. Is it okay? Is it okay, okay to say? Okay. Responsible. It's a stereotype. Right? It's a stereotype. It's a stereotype. This is a stereotype. Uh, more socially responsible. Okay. <laughs> Always, like teacher said, uh, they are uh, job uh, hoppers. <laughs> this is a an stereotype. I think a job hopper. Being job hoppers is a stereotype. Yeah. Are you done? 
Uh, this is the third. Okay, okay. Yeah. For the, for the stereotypes, we we put that they are lazy, uh, they are disrespectful when they are in a meeting because they don't pay attention because they are playing with their phones and they are. How is the phrase that did you say, Manuel? In, in, in what? Uh, the last one. That... The, the last, the, the, but in what, in what, in what uh, question? In, in the... On the stereotypes. Ah, okay, stereotypes. Yes. Uh, for example, they need to know, they need to know why. No, no, uh, the, the, the last one, the, the last one stereotype uh, that, that you mentioned. Social, socially responsible. No, that job hoppers. Uh, ah, job hoppers. <laughs> job hoppers. Being job hopper is a stereotype. Okay. I one to We already spoke about the characteristic to consider to leader them. The characteristic. Yes, uh, for example. Uh, characteristics to consider to lead them. Okay. Uh, for example, I, I, I don't know uh, what is the meaning to uh, consider to lead them. In español, teacher, eh, considerar que es? Para dirigirlos. Ah, ok. Ah, pues sí. Ok. For example, now eh, know what motivates them. And also I, 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 I guess that fits better in the tips to manage them. But uh, manage them. Manage them. The tips. Manage them. I, I guess that's uh fits better in in that uh ah like a tip, okay. Important characteristics to consider to, to lead them. Oh, okay, this is. I have not uh, knowledge. On, I don't. I don't. I don't have idea. Like a tip, yes, but characteristics to to lead them. Teacher, need your help. Your help. Yeah, yeah. We need your help about this uh, characteristic. Characteristics uh, to, lead. to lead them. To lead them. As Mario was saying, consider they get bored easily. Um, they like to use their cell phones on meetings. So you have to consider that when you go to a meeting, you have to put a little box in the middle of the table, you know, so they can leave their cell phones there, for example. That could be one. 
Um, they love research in the internet, so that could be a great tool for them to work. They don't like to stay quiet, you know, they like to be very talkative. So you have to include them on the conversations, um, on the proposal of ideas. For example, in call centers, it's a mm -hmm. trend. It's a trend to have uh, people giving ideas on what to do to improve the work, to improve everything. So you can share your idea and they pay you for sharing your ideas, at least where I work. Okay. Oh, okay. Time's up, time's up, let's go. Okay, let's move on. Let's continue with um, our practice really quick so we can get over with this topic and move on to the next one. So can somebody give me an advantage um, millennials bring to the workplace? A clear, I mean, the, what's the clearest advantage that you can have by having millennials at the workplace? They are multitasking teacher. They can uh, do many things at the same time. Okay. They have the, that kind of skills to to do a lot of things at the same time. Okay. They are very multitasking people. Okay, another one. Um, they are open mind. They're open minded. Open minded, but or I, okay. I want to say that they are able to to be like a team collaborating, collaborating. They they, they like teamwork. Teamwork. Okay. Okay. Teamwork is one of them, so they they like to work in teams. Okay. Someone else. Come on, guys. Another advantage of bringing uh, millennials. They, they have balance with life and work. Hmm. Okay, life and work balance, okay. What else, what else? They are looking for goals. Mm -hmm. They're looking for boss? For goals. Oh, 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 they, they, yeah, they go. Okay, they pursue goals. goals. They set goals. I'm going to make it simpler. They set so, goals. They, they go for the new technologies. Okay, and technology. They are techie. Okay. They're very techy. Okay, now let's go with important characteristics to consider to lead them. They're innovative. In in innovative. Yeah. Huh. Mm. Innovative. Inno innovative. Okay. Their hunger of, su of success. Hunger of what? 
Success. Hunger for success. I will say eager. New word. Eager for success. Eager. What yeah. Mean eager. Is what you're trying to say. Okay. <laughs> it's it's a synonym of thirsty, Mario. Thirsty. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Wendy or who? Who? Uh, re resilience. Resilience. Okay. Everybody, does everybody know what's the meaning of resilience? How do you know? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Resilience. Oh my God. Resilience. Okay. Resilience. The which resilience. Is, yep. Jorge? Which, which is the meaning of, of resilience? Being resilient is a characteristic that... Um, to try? Uh, to deal no. with problem by yourself. Deal with problems by yourself. Yeah. Being, able, being able to resolve things, um, find ways to solve them, ask someone else. I mean... Being resilient is like being independent, let's say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, being, being independent. They are independent because they, they don't like other people's advice. Remember that they believe they are self-sufficient. Okay. Yeah, I, that's a stereotype. <laughs> I type other one, teacher. They... Uh -huh. They don't have fear to take risk. They're fearless. Fearless for risks. Fearless or, oh, well, let's call it that another way. They are risk takers. Risk takers. They are not afraid of taking risks. Good job. Tips sure, to manage. Maybe, them. Yep, Manuel. Maybe, uh... Work-life balance. Uh, we included that before. Life balance. Work-life balance is a characteristic uh, or lifestyle like being healthy. Is that what you, you want to say? A uh, characteristic to consider to lead them. Now, thinking about characteristics to lead them, mm -hmm. being innovative. Why do you have to consider that to lead a millennial? Come on. They risk. Oh, okay. Risk taker. Okay. Why do uh, you have to consider that millennials are innovative when you lead them? When the los guías, cuando los. Um, oh my God. Cuando lideras un grupo de millennials, porque debes de considerar que son in innovativos. Son... Mm. Because <laughs> they are always improving uh, the ways to to perform the their job. Or, or the way, yeah, or the ways to perform the job, yeah. Exactly. So that's a good thing for your job. That's a good thing for any job to have innovative people, creative, creative people. Why updating. creative? You can use updating. Uh, updating. Updating. Not in this context. That would be part of being creative. They okay. like to, yeah, be up, up to date. That's the word, Jorge. They, they like to be up to date. You know, oh, there's a word. There's a there's an adjective for that, Jorge. Trendy. Mm. They're trendy. Yeah. You know, they they follow the trends. So if, for example, um, I don't know, people is using uh, Google Jams. You know, Google Jams for the expositions uh, on the meetings. 
they they bring bring up that idea to a meeting you know hey why don't we use uh google what was it what did i say google jams which is a a, a collaborative whiteboard google jam is a collaborative whiteboard that you can use all we could be using that board all at the same time you know and there's a, there's another one i can't remember the name right now but th those are very useful tools in groups everybody can participate at the same time okay so eager for Jeopardy. success ja ja jamboree mm, no jamboard is something else from google jam i guess it's yeah, jam, yeah. Jam, I guess the jamboard is is a I guess kind of kind of event for the scout. I guess. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, jamboard I, is is part of your tools actually in Google. If you go, for example, the drive is a tool. Uh, Google Translate is another one, but Jamboard is another tool from Google that you can use. You should check that out. If you have meetings in your job, that's very useful. You can, you can put the kind of slide or a kind of a page that everybody can put something, right? Yeah, at the same time, you everybody can write at the same time on the Jamboard. And there's another one, but I can't remember the name, which is better. You need to log in on that one. I what? A collaborative board. It's not... Collaborative board. 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 Miro. Miro. It's called Miro. M I R O. Hmm. Man, Miro, Miro.com, that's that's amazing. That's crazy. It's a huge board. You can paste, um, you can paste post-its, you know, collaborate, you can draw, you can type anything you want on Miro boards. And all at the same time. But of course, we all need to be on the same on a computer. On a computer, you know, each one on a computer. Okay, let's move on, guys. Tips to manage them. What are tips to manage millennials? Someone who hasn't talked. Come on, Sylvia. Let them to get the schedule. Marilena, okay, uh, Jorge, uh, create their schedule. Like free schedule. In... Okay, Marilena. Um, the both millennials need give it opportunities for development and learning new things. I consider that is necessary uh, give them the tools for their job oh proper tools for their job that's true to perform your tasks you need proper tools you know what what they love what we love as millennials when the company gives you a laptop for example and it's the right thing you need to work it's that's really at least me i mean i ha i love having dual monitors you know uh, a great pc with an i7 fourth generation processor a lot of memory ram i mean this thing flies right so it, it works very well and it lets me do my job easily without any problem you know so that's very important for us exactly okay what else? Let them show their skills to get the approval of the of the peer. The peer. Mm, let them show their skills. It's like <laughs> I'm gonna say it like this. Let them shine. And 
make them aware. That that's they, true, and it's true. You know, that's to be appraised when because when they are appraised. Uh -huh. Again, Jorge. Because they are self entitled. entitled. They're self entitled. Don't forget that. That's true. Let them shine and make them aware. You know, it's like, wow, great job. This this was a great improvement on the way we do things. Da, da, da. Yeah, exactly. And lastly, stereotypes. This is the easiest one. Shoot me some stereotypes. Everybody, come on, guys. Lazy. They're lazy. Okay. Bored easily. Yeah, hop. Yeah, hoppers. Yeah, hoppers. I think that's the way you write it. Uh huh. What else? Always with the cell phone. <laughs> mm, cell phone addicted. Cell yeah, phone let's addict. say cell phone addict. They're okay. Poorly prepared. Again. And without poorly poor, poor, or poor, poorly prepared and without aspiration. Poorly prepared. Yeah. And without aspirations. Without um when you say aspirations, you mean like they don't aspire, they don't oh my god, that's so oh I I, I read I guess in, in, in the article, in the long they are high level education. Low level educations or high level education, I read in high education high educational levels. I that they have high educational levels? High level education. Level of education, maybe. So you read in an article that millennials are have high level of education. Yes. Hmm. So they are well prepared. Yes, I, I, I was impressed too. <laughs> impressed. I was amused. Yes. Repeat. I was amused. I was amused. I was amused when I read that. Do you know what? It's just that there's a stereotype about education on our culture, and and I I always say this. Some people learn better without going to school. And it's because your range of learning is greater nowadays. Right now, with the internet, your range of learning topics is wider with the internet. And the curricula, the teaching curricula of a standard school here in El Salvador, here in El Salvador, it doesn't matter if it is a private or public school, the curricula, the teaching curricula is too poor, too poor. Uh, let me give you an example, something that you will agree with me if you are a parent, right, Silvia, right, everybody? <laughs> if you are a parent, you will understand me. I don't like my kids participating on, I don't know, like cultural events where you ha they have to dance rock and roll, they have to dance salsa. I don't know, this kind of dynamics, I don't think it, that contributes uh, too much. I don't know, that's me. Um, doing some, some hand jobs, you know, for Father's Day, for Mother's Day, some schools dedicate too much effort and time to these activities. Does that make sense? Yes, but I'm thinking about uh, you are 
saying that because they make that Jew has to do a lot of work. No, 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 no. They do it at, 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 at the school. They do it at school. Maybe is teacher because in this time, no sé cómo se dice en español, pero las habilidades plásticas hablan mucho de habilidades plásticas. Entonces se centran en eso, pero no sé cómo se dice en inglés habilidades plásticas. Oh, good. Um, I don't know, plastic abilities, I guess, but I never read about it. I'm going to do a little research on that, Marilena, because I don't see the advantage. Yo creo que so, no sé si, si son, uh, a lo que se refería, son habilidades blandas o algo por el estilo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Blind abilities. And there are other type of abilities. Yes, yes, yes. I do agree. I do agree, Marilena, with the Montessori approach, la metodología Montessori, because they, they use, I mean, children, when they're little, they have to learn these abilities, fine abilities. Uh, it's like habilidades finas, right? Motrices. So they have to, motrices fina, right? That's right. They have to develop that. But when you reach first, second grade, you know, even fifth grade, they don't like doing things, you know, for their parents using recycle. Yes, things. I guess there is a few grades that you can do that because that's improved the, the uh, this kind of ability, the, the fine ability that, abilities that you said. Mm -hmm. you, you're right, when you are on a higher level, I guess you need another thing to do in order to improve or know what are your, your abilities. Uh, I mean, because when we are children or sorry we are kids we need to learn this in order to in the future or when we grow up uh, can do another things more complicated so i guess always a process uh, it's always a process I, that's right that that's what i'm yeah. saying perfect exactly now I don't know. There's a trend about this topic on social media where, and I agree with that, we were never taught how to manage our money, how to save money, how yeah. to deal with other people, how to deal with difficult people, how to res resilience, okay, how to resilience, which is what Wendy was saying and Marilena, that's very important, how to deal with your feelings psychological topics, you know, all of these things are very important. Very, very important. Even understanding, I don't know, um, how to clean yourself, how to be clean all the time. I don't know how to you call that in English, but your, your lifestyle, you know, having a diet, why is it important and so on, right? And New Zealand, I think New Zealand is like the, the leader in education. I think that's New Zealand, I can remember right now. But they made a study and they changed their, their whole educational system in a way that kids don't have homework. No. Have you heard that? I don't know if uh, it was yes, Zealand. I have heard, but I don't know if, if it's uh, New Zealand. I've heard about Finland. Finland, or... yes. Finland, yes. They did that and it worked amazing. I mean, kids don't have homework. In fact, what activity that a teacher can 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 perform is like, okay, go to that tree, okay, and find out. Do a research. Is is the research hour. So go to the patio, everybody, and bring your findings. Go and go and do a scientific discovery in the backyard and all the kids spend one hour doing a scientific research so they bring their results so you know what i climbed the tree and i found a worm there was a a green worm then the teacher starts looking for worm pictures and 
explain what kind of worms there are and everything. And then the students develop the class, which is kind of what I'm trying with you. You know, it's like try to bring your ideas so we can all participate and discuss. Make, a, make an experiment with, with us. That that's what I have been trying to, but you know, not everybody likes to speak. I don't know why, and I cannot push you. I don't have the authority in this um, English for work to push you. So it's not like that. Okay. So finally, uh, we have reached the point of discussing the difference between generation X and generation Y. Yesterday, I, I gave you a video, a very explanatory video, you know, what things X generation likes and what things millennials like. What do you think? Let's have a discussion. What do you think about X generation? Let's cover that topic really quick. What is the X generation? And by the way, this is on your book on page 27. I I could define generate X gener generate X, Genera X generation. Like the generation that is between baby boomer and millennials. Mm -hmm. That is my definition, teacher. <laughs> okay, in time, <laughs> in time. Yeah, yesterday's video was very explanatory about that. There, there's some classification, right? Time between, and I always forget this, 1965 to 1979. That's the yeah. X generation. So what are their likes? Uh, I remember in the the oh, idols, the idols on the video. Uh -huh. The idols were Madonna, uh, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. And the other one was uh, Kurt Cobain. Kurt, Kurt Cobain, please. Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. Uh huh. Okay. That's it. I. That's what I, you remember. I, okay. What about the rest? See, that's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about. You need to participate, guys. Come on who are part of the Generation X? What do you remember? <laughs> okay. This this uh, generation the, was... The, the generation. Oh, what generation needs? What is the X generation? Yes. What is it? My generation? I guess. Oh no. <laughs> okay. So you're an you're an Xer. Okay. No, my generation is is, is millennial. <laughs> you're a millennial too? Okay. <laughs> I think I really want. We the are first all millennials. millennials. Yeah, we're all millennials. <laughs> So the X generation was prior to the millennials. Um, most of them use Facebook over Twitter and Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, kids now or some uh, senials and, and millennials use Instagram a lot. They like it. Um, they represent, uh, let's say, a 34% of society nowadays. In case you didn't know, um, they they are okay with authority. It's not like the millennials that they challenge authority and they don't mind changing jobs. The Xers, the Generation X, um, respects authority, you know, and they will work as hard as needed, meaning that. No matter what's the workload, they will do it. They will do their best effort to do their job. A millennial, a millennial will find a way to make the job 
easier. Let me give you an example on that point because this is very interesting. Someone from the generation X, um, a senial, that's the name, a senial, will find a way to do things the way they are told. For example, in my job, I have to follow steps and make sure that documents are received in order to proceed to the next step, which is given requesting the money from the merchants. And let me give you a, a quick explanation because we're, we're very close to the end. So in my job, I work with fraudulent charges, fraudulent charges. You call the bank and you say, you know what, somebody used my card and it wasn't me. Okay, so my job is block the card, ask you to send a form signed stating that you did not participate on that charge, copies of the card, I need copies of the card, I need sometimes a police report and other paperwork, right? So once we get that, I contact the merchant. So whoever used the card, use the card on Amazon, for example. So I contact Amazon and tell them, hey, you know what? Wendy states that her card was used on Amazon and it wasn't her. So Amazon sends me a report. We compare it. Oh, there's a discrepancy. Wendy is in Boston. Wendy lives in Boston. The card is registered in Boston and it was used in Hong Kong. The charge was made from, from a POS. You know what is a POS, right? We just slide the card. That's a POS, a post. So they swipe the card in Hong Kong. Okay, says Amazon. It's true. Here's your money. Here is the money. So they give me the money back in theory. Okay, and then I give the money back to the customer. I send a new card. So all of this process takes like 30, 60, up to 90 days to give the money back. So in order to perform all these steps, I am evaluated as a millennial. I'm evaluated by another millennial. And this millennial is looking for a way to find my mistakes. Okay, my mistakes. Oh, you received this letter and it's not signed. <gasps> Oops, I'm sorry, a zero or a 90 or 80, right? So how did I resolve that problem? I created a checklist. I came up with a checklist, okay? And I just go like, okay, I did this. Yes, I did this, I did this. So I performed the steps. I always get a hundred, all the time, a hundred on my job. Good. And that's a bonus. That's That means money at the end of the month if I do my job well. So of course there is a point and this is what is important. There is a point where I don't need the checklist anymore. I adapted my work pace on the steps. My brain became faster and yeah, okay, I'm doing this, this first, second, third. Okay, everything's good. Next, next, nice. next, up. You're doing kind of mechanically. It becomes mechanically like driving. When you drive, it becomes automated, you know. So there's no problem. So that's an example. And a senior, a senior will follow step by step as they were told. Okay. This is the way you told me. That's what I do. A millennial will find a way to do things easier. That's it. Task. I mean, shortcuts, shortcuts to do things easier. Uh, let's see. Yep. I will say to, to my peer, you say you said peer, right? My thieves. Colleague. No, yeah. no. To your colleagues, you said your colleagues, uh huh. Co workers. Yeah. So save them. Uh, you have to work uh, wise, not hard. Yeah. Work wise, not hard. That's true. That is totally true. Another example, let's say, and this happens, 
an American bought 10 cards with $500 each card because he received a phone call from Microsoft. And Microsoft, somebody with a Hindu accent, somebody with a Hindu accent from, you know, Microsoft told me that I had to buy 10 cards with $500 each card and they were using me and they were giving me uh, $5,000 if I helped them on an investigation. So I went, bought the cards and I sent them pictures of the cards. Of course, I didn't realize it was a scam. So they sent 10 cards. Many of my coworkers work card by card, card by card. No, I found a way to work the 10 cards at the same time. And that's easier. You see, so that's the way you always have to find ways to work. Wise, not hard, as my as Mario said. Okay, so that's basically it. Now, one thing about the Generation X is that they like uh, they work life balance you know it's like the job is the job my life is my life and this is a very old saying when you are at work forget about your life when you step outside your job there's no job it's just your life forget about work it's your life millennials they can work at home, they can work in the office, but their job is like very important if they like what they do. Let's leave that there, right? So that is the main difference between both generations. And what do you think? Okay, exactly, that's right, okay. <laughs> Actually, uh, I I couldn't be in the class yesterday. It was you know, mm -hmm. work. No, don't minutes. worry. This is a very nice similar topic to yesterday. It's <laughs> kind of the same rhythm. That's why that uh, I also I did it. Saw the video and that what. Okay, Teacher. Marilena. Uh, I remember the Daniels mm -hmm. is more, uh, they more obedient. I don't know is more obedient. Obedient. Mm -hmm. um, As I said, yeah, they respect they authority. Respect authority. They the work. Is very important. Um, I don't know. Uh, she, they live in the in in the fish down technology or or less technology. Uh huh. They live in. I like that. They live in the age of technology. Al filo de la tecnología. Yes. Um. They um, grow up with the Walkman. They grew up with the Walkman. It's true with the Discman, the Walkman. That was important for him. The technology we they used. When the movies uh, watching in the VHS in the how oh, como se llamaba so, la, blockbuster uh, video they used to go to blockbuster blockbuster didn't last too much because we got netflix later but yeah that was good going to blockbuster renting a vhs movie and man <laughs> those were good yeah. times these and people make make uh, make uh, no sé hacen las cosas ¿verdad? Yo, Oh, yes, they like do it yourself. DIY. Mm -hmm. They are DIYers. That's a term. They are uh, DIYers. What about, about thinking in the future, teacher? Uh, I consider for uh, the millennials, 
I'm not sure if they are thinking about the future. Uh, yesterday, we talked about the retirement, but uh, I consider you need some kind of stability in your job if you are thinking in the in the retirement. So if you are a job hopper, that is difficult. You don't think about it. You don't think about retirement. Yes, and you're totally right now. As I explained to you yesterday, there's a problem in Europe. There is, um, There are no babies, a lot of elderly, you know, without homes. Man, this is so sad. There are ghost towns in Europe. You can look it up. Go ahead, Google it. There's a lot of towns that where there is no people living anymore. Yeah. It's insane. And houses, you can buy houses very cheap, very old houses. Man, it's, it's so sad. And at the same time, you know, it's like, let's go there. You know, like a whole bunch yeah. of people here from the Salvador. We could send a delegation if you want, right? Okay. <laughs> go living in, because it's beautiful. New Zealand. Can you imagine living in a place like that, you know, with snow? Oh, my God. Beautiful mountains, a lake. Oh, my God. That's a dream. Right. It's like Switzerland, Switzerland. without, without uh, delinquents. No. Uh, Delinquency without gangs, without crime. The empty jails. Empty jails? What do you mean? Without jails. Jails without people inside the, the jails. Oh, with empty jails. I got you. With empty jails. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. That has to be awesome. Of course, there are places where you have to grow your own food. Right? You have to have a farm. But don't you prefer, wouldn't you, wouldn't you prefer to live in a place like that instead of working every day, go and milk the cow, you know, do the that cheese. Could be boring too. No, really? Do you think that would be boring? Going mm -hmm. every going every day and let's see Virgilia, how many eggs do you have? A ver, Gloria, how many eggs you have? And so on, right? With the chicken. The hen. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh no eggs. Let's eat chicken today. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, I don't know. Oh, that would be very exciting. I mean, learning to fish, how to fish, you know, and better air. Nature, it's amazing. Of course, it is dangerous as well, but, you know, you I don't know. Attacked. You can be attacked by, by a bear. Man, yes, <laughs> that, that's another thing. Or wolf, I don't know. Let's see the pros and cons and cons. And that's going to be your topic tomorrow. Remember, it's going to be comparatives and superlatives working um, on that topic. Let's talk about living in nature versus living in the city. Lifestyle in the city, lifestyle in nature. Well, nature. You prefer nature? Okay, so living in the nature is better than living in the city. And that is a comparative. Okay. Tonight, I'm staying, I'm restarting, so I don't know, who, who would like to stay? Christia, who hasn't have a meeting with me? Um, I have been with Christia twice already, Diana twice as well. Who would like to yes. stay 10 minutes? Jorge was twice too, Manuel, I don't know. Christia, would you, leave, would you give me 10 minutes of your time? Yeah. Yeah, sure. And in her mind, <laughs> and in her mind, she's like, oh, crap, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, guys. I'm staying tonight with Christian. And thank you, Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Turn on your camera, guys. Christian. Thank you. Good night. No. Gotta see your faces. Christian, Natalie, Eraso Rogel. Christian. Thank you. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth Sereguiño Martinez. 
Ok, mm -hmm. thank you. Present. Diego Armando López Rivas. Present. Thank you. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present and good night. Good night. Juan Carlos Rivas Joven. Not here today. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present. Good night. Good night. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Mario José Valle Castaneda. Uh, here, Thank you. Good night. Good night, Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. She was here, right? Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Good night. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Okay. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Good night, teacher. Sorry. It's okay. Thank you, Susana. <laughs> Present and good night. Good night, Wendy. Blessings. Blessings. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, Chrisia. Hello. How are you tonight? You were very quiet tonight. Um, yes. <laughs> What's wrong? No, nothing. Nothing. Really? Okay. Hmm. Let me choose a topic. Do you like to travel around in Salvador? Yes. What places have you visited? Mm, I think I have been 14 departments. In the 14 departments? Yes. What is a department? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Japan, La Paz. Or, I'm or really what? sorry. I'm a gringo. I don't know what because departments for me is like the ah, fire, the I fire see. department. You know, <laughs> like a department is um I don't know. It's like a um, it's a it's, it's I, a state? In your, it, it's like a state. Yes. Oh. In your I don't know, Washington, Boston. Oh. So in the country in El Salvador, we have mm -hmm. um Aguachapan, Chalatenango, La Paz. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, what 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 Chapan? Okay. How is Wachapan? <laughs> they do it. They do it. <laughs> oh my god, you have 14 states, 14 little yeah, departments. And yeah, we have 50 actually, 50 states. Are they big? Because I heard your country is very small, right? El Salvador is small. Yeah, this is small, but we have a good people. Good people, okay. You have good yeah. people. Ah, good people. We have good people. We have good people. Awesome. Yeah, I know, I know. That's why I'm here. So what would you recommend me? I mean, if I want to travel, I like mountain, you know, and go camping. Where could I do that? Uh -huh. Okay, uh, you will visit um, Cerro Verde. Uh, it's, in San, it's in in the middle of Sonsonate in Santa Ana. Sonsonate. In, in the middle of Wait, Sonsonate. But what, what is it, uh, Cerro Verde? Where is it? Yeah, is it a lake, a mountain, a hill? Cerro Verde is like a mountain. It's a mountain. And, yes, and you can... In, in, And at the same place, you can find a volcano. Two wow. different volcanoes, yes. Wow. Yes, and you can climb the volcano, the Santa Ana volcano. Oh. And, yes. And then when you return to Cerro Verde, you can do a camping. You can go camping. I can go can camping, camp. really. Can I light up a fire? Yes. Oh, is it safe? Yes, it's the safe. I heard there are gang members in, in El Salvador. Is that true? Uh, no, it's not true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, and can I pay? Is there a hotel in Cerro Verde? Yes, you can pay a hotel. But hotel. it's kind of expensive. Oh, don't worry. I'm green, girl. Oh. Remember? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, and what kind of food do you eat in El Salvador? 
Uh, we have a typical food. Uh, we have a uh, typical dishes. And wait, wait, stop. We have a uh, 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 uh. We have typical we have food. Typical, we have typical food, and we have typical dishes. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can taste. Uh, you can taste uh, pupusas. Try pupusas. You what is it? Pupusas is uh, uh, pupusas is a uh, typical Art. dish. <laughs> okay. Pupusas are sorry. Pupusas are um tortilla. <laughs> tortilla? Oh, yeah. like Mexican tortilla. Yeah. I try, I try, I try tacos and burritos in California once, and, and they're made of tortilla, you know. With but this this tortilla is made of bread and sometimes corn. Is that the tortilla? Mm, no, I think it's not like that. Hmm. It's different than Salvador. Uh, is is of the is of corn? If of uh, it's made it's of, of corn. corn. Yes, it's made of corn tortilla. And inside you can uh, have um, frijoles and uh, you can have beans. Beans, you okay. You can have cheese, cheese or huh? porky. Oh, porky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. How that, 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 that's yeah, all, so... folks. Do you mean porky like box bunny? And <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Pork. No. Pork. Ah, okay. Pork. <laughs> it's yes. okay. It's okay. So wait, wait, wait. Beans, cheese, and pork inside a tortilla. Yes. Oh my god, that sounds delicious. I heard they made it of rice too. Yeah. Just corn. Oh, what? What do you prefer, rice or or uh prefer... corn? You prefer rice. Rice. Yes. Are, there, are there other flavors? Uh, yes. We have a lot of flavors uh, for tortillas. No, no, pupusas. Ah, pupusas, yes. We have, another, we have a lot of flavors. We have uh, of cheese with loroco. What? <laughs> Loro, loroco. <laughs> Yes, Loroco is is like a plant. I don't know. A vegetable. Uh, I it's... don't know if Loroco is vegetable. Yeah, yeah. The Loroco is a national vegetable. You know, it's a it's a native vegetable from El Salvador. Oh, okay. It's a native vegetable. I haven't okay. heard of Loroco in Guatemala or Mexico. You know, that that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Sí, yo creo que yeah, solo but... que <laughs> and you can find a lot of flavors. Um, I don't know. Shrimp. With yeah, with shrimp, and you can find with chili pepper. Or with Ooh, with jalapeno. Jalapeno, yes. Wow, it's gonna be really nice. I love chili. With garlic also. Garlic. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I heard that they can do a pizza flavor as well, right? Yes, I think yes. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 okay. alguna vez va al puerto de la libertad? Conoce el puente Chilama? No. Ay, por, por el nombre de Chilama, no. Ah, pues usted llega donde antes era la báscula, está la, el faro. Entonces, sí. lo, lo primero, va ¿eh? ah, pues agarrar la derecha. ¿Sí? El primer puente que se cruza. Ah, vale, ese es el puente okay. Chinama. Déjeme ver. Ok. Primero. Sí, el primer puente que se cruza es el Chilama. Pues justo después de cruzar ese puente, a mano izquierda, hay una callecita y allí nomás cruza como a una cuadra, a mano izquierda, es una pupusería. Uh -huh. de, sí, de pescado, de, de camarón, de todo eso, las normales, ¿no? Pero sí, es como lo, lo, lo autóctono sería el pescado y el camarón. Súper bien. Okay. bien. Y no me acuerdo cómo se llama la señora, pero me quedan bien. 
<ríe> okay. por, ahí, por ahí vivía yo antes. Era súper bien. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you for staying with me, Cristia. That was okay. a nice conversation, you see? Yes. Ok, good night, Cristia. Rest. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Bye.